to YouTube's new rules set into place by the FTC, I feel it is my obligation to inform you that my channel is not intended for children. My channel has always been intended for kiddolts who also enjoy collecting and unboxing. For anyone over the age of 13, these rules do not apply to you. For anyone under the age of 13, please stop watching and join us again when you are 13 or older. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today we are going to be looking at the rest of the dolls from the 1997 uh, Little Mermaid Special Edition release when she came out on video cassette. <laughs> I just, I can't ah. fucking wait. Like, these are my absolute favorite dolls. I'm buying back my childhood right here. These are just some of the prettiest dolls. And of course, the one standing up is the one I'm most excited about. Um, I've wanted her ever since I was a little kid. And there was this girl in my neighborhood who had this doll and I tried to trade her like so many of my different toys just to have this. And it never worked. And I remember like going to Toys R Us when I was a kid and seeing these on the shelves and I just thought they were the coolest thing and I'm not allowed to have them because I'm a boy. And that, that was a stupid, like I would have been like so much happier as a kid if I had these. Um, luckily Pokemon distracted me. I can't wait to get these out of the box and give you guys a closer look. We have Princess Mermaid Ariel doll. It comes with her and her pink dress and the weird tail. As you guys can see here on the back, the dress transforms into her fin and then you can put it on her tail and then kind of do like a magical transformation thing. So we'll get a closer look at that when we take her out of the box. And then I've got Prince Eric and his friend Max gift set. Um, of course, I had to get Ariel's Prince also, and we're gonna take him out of the box and get a closer look. We have Ariel Sea Pearl Edition, um, super cute, slightly different doll from just this regular basic Ariel doll that comes with a little swimsuit. She's got her little bag for finding treasures and everything like from the movie and she comes with a little bracelet for me and a little comb and we'll play with those when we take them out and then of course we had to get the wedding dress ariel she's super cute has her makeup done just like me today in case you guys can see on camera but i did do my makeup to kind of round out the redness in my face um just super pretty doll and I love that she has a big old poopy dress to put on. <laughs> we have a Tropical Splash Ariel who is super cute and she is going to be the easiest one to debox because um, the pictures I were shown on eBay versus the actual doll I got are two completely different <laughs> fucking things. So thanks a lot for that eBay, but at least the doll's in good condition. And then we'll probably do like some water play with her and I'll show you guys like the color change and everything. But now I have to get all of these dolls out of the box so we can get a closer look. All right guys, and I just wanted to get you a closer look at the back of these boxes. Um, Miss C Pearl Ariel does not have a back to her box, it's just white. But best friends Eric and his loyal sheepdog, Max. This is the back of their box. Shows you some extra products in the collection. I cannot find that wedding Prince Eric anywhere online. Um, there's plenty of wedding Prince Eric's, but they're all from like the Disney store. And then some more products. This is the back of Princess Mermaid Ariel. You can make Ariel a shimmery mermaid or a beautiful princess. And then it gives you like instructions on how to take the dress off and show it off and everything. Super cute. Then we've got the back of Wedding Day Ariel. Play out the story of her wedding day. She'll marry her prince and sail away. A big wedding cake and sparkly gown. 
pretty presence and veil with a crown, you know, because they had to do a little poem. And you can see her little cake and some wedding presents. Everybody else from the Tropical Splash collection. And I believe this is a little set from 1997 where Ariel is babysitting. It comes with a cute little floaty, so tons of water play. Then we've got the back of Tropical Splash Ariel. And you can see all of her friends. I believe that is Kayla, her sister Arista. I believe that one is Atina in the pink. Ariel in her green shirt. And then Eric with a flounder floaty. I would love to have all of these dolls, but so far I only have Ariel. And then of course, the standard Ariel doll. We can play with Ariel two ways, with her pretty mermaid tail or a stylish swimsuit. And then it just kind of shows you. And then a couple more products. All right, guys. One thing I wanted you to see here is that luckily on these older 97 dolls, they do not put those plastic head pieces back there. They just have this little ribbon of plastic that kind of holds the hair in and then it's super easy to take out so it won't damage the hair. But I just wanted you guys to get a closer look at that because I thought that was cool. All right, guys, so there are all of the dolls out of their boxes. Um, so while I was unboxing them, I learned a couple of things about the dolls that as an adult collector, which is what this channel is, it's always been for adults. Um, as an adult collector though, um, there's a couple of things here that uh, I'm upset about, but in 1997, I would have been six years old and six-year-old me would have loved this. So we're gonna pay more attention to six-year-old me today and focus on the positives of these dolls because ultimately they are fantastic. I'm still gonna point out some of the negative stuff, but while I'm doing that, just try to understand that it's for like, educational purposes and I'm not trying to be like a negative Nancy because I love these so much and I still want everything in the collection but from the wide shot they look fantastic but up close you guys are going to notice some stuff and I'll point it out to you if you don't so let's get going all right guys so here is little miss sea pearl Ariel super cute she has purpley iridescent fins and they're waterproof you can hear from the fabric and then this kind of fabric right here on the tail it's also waterproof but this was used a lot in like the 90s dolls where at the time yeah it's pretty it has that sheen and everything but it flakes and it falls apart after a while, which I've seen in a couple of other dolls I've unboxed from the 90s. She has minimal gel in her hair, just kind of like right here on the bangs. The bra is also made out of this waterproof material, the top fin. She has cute makeup. Um, you guys can see standard yellowing on the rubber, uh, on the plastic bra straps that are holding her up her top which is totally fine the rubber bands yellow that's a very normal thing I'm okay with that um, and then she came with a little bag like in the first scene we see her in her movie where her and flounder are looking for treasure she comes with a nice little pearl colored brush and a cute little pearl necklace for her. I thought this was like an expand. Oh, <laughs> it is an expandable little uh, wrist thing, which probably would have fit six-year-old me's wrists. Now I'm a little afraid of stretching out the elastic after um, after 22 years. Oh my gosh, has it been that long? Oh. Um, 
but super cute little bracelet, uh, everything. The doll is just fantastic. Standard 90s articulation on this all the way through, Ben and Stephanie, etc. I believe every doll in this collection has that standard articulation. We'll bring out Prince Eric for his articulation when we get to him. I was going to take Eric out of his clothes to show you his articulation, but if I pull on his boots anymore, all of that's just gonna come right off. Um, if I ever figure out how to sew, maybe I can make him some new boots, but uh, I know my froggy stuff and that girl can sew, but we'll show you his articulation. So he has articulation in the head. He can move from side to side, but not up and down. His shoulders can come out and forward and back. His elbows are permanently bent. He has a twist and turn waist and his legs at the hips can go front and back and then he has the standard 90s bend and snap knee and as you guys can see all of that vinyl on his boots are coming off right on my hands so um we're going to gently <laughs> put prince eric away and move on to mermaid princess ariel all right guys here is mermaid princess ariel she comes with her pink dress, her little pearl comb, a little dingle hopper in her size, and she comes with a pair of white shoes. And as you guys can see, these shoes are flat because for some reason, unlike the Premier Series doll that we reviewed in our last video, these 1997 dolls have the flat foot um, and that was one of the the surprises that I got but like I said six-year-old me back in 1997 he wouldn't have cared because uh, she's still a fantastically gorgeous doll I learned a little something about Ariel's pink dress in this collection in order to get all the fabric to fit in her fin um, there's no back to the dress. So that was another little surprise for me, but six-year-old Jeffrey wouldn't have cared. So we're gonna put her in the dress and I bet it's gonna look amazing. And there is little Miss Dingle Hopper in her pink dress, even though the back is missing. She is a very cute doll. I do like her a lot. And this is giving me crazy nostalgia because I was always jealous of that girl when I was younger that had this. Um, I didn't know back then that the, the dress was missing the back portion of it, but I wouldn't have cared back then because I just wanted this doll so badly. Um, and now I have it and it's, it's still a cutie pie. Um, I'm sure there's a way I could maybe buy like a bunch of pink tool and then make like a cute little petticoat for this and then put it in the back. Actually, hold on, I have a petticoat. Where did I put that? Yeah, okay, so we could do like a bunch of petticoats and really kind of fluff out the back right there. And I think it'd be super cute. It kind of, you know, it fluffed up the front a lot, really nice. Um, one thing I did discover while I was putting the petticoat on her is this did belong to a smoker home. Um, yeah, you can smell the cigarette smoke on her pretty hard, but she's in pretty good condition. She doesn't have that crazy yellowing yet. So here's hoping. All right, guys. And now we're going to move on to the mermaid part of this costume. So on the back of Ariel, little tail, there is a bigger piece of Velcro that we have to open up and flip up. Then what we do is we take the bottom part of the dress right here and you tuck it in to the fins in the back. And as you guys can see, there's like a little pocket that we can tuck the fin inside of.
eyes. And then once you tuck her dress into her fins there, there is Princess Mermaid Ariel. She looks a little different than the box, but even as a kid, we knew that was a possibility. Um, I will say after seeing how this dress mechanic works, I understand why they didn't put it back on the dress. Still in love with her. There's, there's a lot of little things that the adult collector me is screwing up, but six year old me, we love her. She's the best thing ever. So let's move on to the wedding dress Ariel. There she is, little Miss Wedding Dress Ariel. She is also a flat-footed doll, and her shoes are slightly detailed, more than the Princess Mermaid doll a little bit. She comes with a cute little plastic wedding cake, and there's a tiny little picture of Prince Eric and Ariel right there on the top. She also comes with her own little pearl brush and she came with a little catalog of products that were available back then which I'm going to use as a checklist to make sure I get this whole collection and I'll kind of pan over these in a little bit after we're done with the actual doll. So she comes with some chunky glitter put onto her veil and it's super big and cute. I like it. She has kind of like a foil tiara. Easy makeup. Her sleeves are separate pieces from the dress. She has the big old poofs and this main part or this top part of her dress, I believe it's called a bodice. I don't know, I'm not a fashion expert, is a separate piece from the bottom part here which has another layer similar to the veil on top and then that. And then I went ahead and put the petticoat from the last doll underneath the dress here to give it some extra poof. And yeah, she's beautiful and she is ready for her big day. And let's move on to the last two dolls. Well, Miss Tropical Splash Ariel, she is a color changing water doll. Um, everything about her is waterproof. She's super cute. Um, she comes with a little lei that you can wear as a bracelet for yourself. I, it's not gonna fit me. And then she came with a Sebastian holding maracas um, brush, which I think is cute. It's different from the other like pearl brushes we've been seeing. And right here I have some ice cold water and some hot water so we can change her color. Hot water has changed the color of her tail. You can see the floral pattern underneath. Then we're going to dip her in some colder water and the reveal color kind of disappears. So if we put her back in some cold water for a little bit, she'll go back to her original blue color and then you can see the line where she's still warmed up. And then we do have the standard mermaid Ariel doll, a classic. Her hair is a lot shorter than most of the dolls. Her whole outfit is waterproof. Again, like the sea pearl Ariel, it's made out of that fabric right through here that is really sensitive. This one, she's doing a lot better. Uh, sea pearl Ariel, you can see some problems with her tail but maybe because it's a darker shade and then let's take off her tail and show you guys her swimsuit and her tail came off super easy thank goodness there's no damage on it anywhere that I can see which is great and then she, there is her swimsuit was on underneath it's just a stretchy elastic it's not held down by velcro or anything and you can see her little flat feet. And she has like the standard bend knee articulation. And she's an absolute cutie. So we're gonna get all the dolls back up here and give you guys my final thoughts. Guys, and these are all of my 1997 Little Mermaid Special Edition dolls that we unboxed today. And I just, I'm absolutely in love. I'm so glad I have all these dolls. Um, the only thing that was really crazy is Prince Eric, his boots are just 
falling apart and it's really sad. Other than that, everything's pretty good. I'm a whole lot less salty about the back of the dress now than I was at the beginning. I think she is just, like she's on par with like most of my collector dolls. I love this doll so much. I think she is absolutely one of my favorites and I'm probably gonna keep her in the dress most of the time. Like this, this whole line is fantastic. There are so many other products that are available. Here's that little booklet showing you all the dolls that are available. Most of them we opened. We don't have the wedding party gift set because I would love to have that Eric. Then we have Let's Swim Ariel, Merbaby, and Sandy where she's babysitting. That is a super cute doll. I've seen her on eBay a couple of times. I probably should just snag her up. Of course, all the other Tropical Splash dolls in the collection. Kayla, Arista, oh, it was a Tina. All right, I was right the first time, perfect. I know my Ariel sisters. And then there's Princess Mermaid Ariel, who we unboxed. This swimming Ariel, the neighbor girl also had this one growing up, and even back then I thought the tail was kind of weird and chunky, but she has to swim. There is Ocean Bride Ariel, the one we opened up today. And then, I did not know this, but they had four inch small dolls back then. And oh my gosh, I love four inch dolls. They are some of my most favorite besides 12 inch. And then there is Ariel Fantasy or Aqua Fantasy Ariel, which we unboxed on the last video. And then this Ursula who I never even heard of. What the hell? Great villains collection, third in a series. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have to find that doll. All right guys, I figured I should add Aqua Fantasy Ariel to the video too. So this is our collection of the 1997 Special Edition Ariel dolls. And I'm so glad. I think we're gonna get everything in the collection though, especially that Ursula now that I found out about her. And six-year-old me is just so happy right now. Um, he wanted these dolls when he was a little kid so bad and he wasn't allowed to have them and now here I am compensating as an adult. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this video. Um, I'm going to do a video on the FTC guidelines etc um, once I understand them better because I'm such a small YouTuber in the doll community. I don't have a lot of other YouTubers I can talk to that would probably know this a lot more than me, considering I've only been doing this for like a month now. So yeah, thank you guys very much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.